The under 66 kilos category final in Dusseldorf 2020 was quite an event because we had a Hufumi Abe who was, well, he needed to win this event, keep him in check and uh, keep him in the direction of the Olympic Games. He needed to qualify uh, through this event. And Marvalishvili, one of our best under 66 kilos category fighters in Europe, well, he was on blistering form all day. And of course, he was looking for something very specific. He knew exactly what uh, Abe wanted in order to do his Sodi Surakamigoshi and his Sianagi. And he knew what he wanted. And he wanted the big left arm over the top. And he did it off the sleeve. And we're going to have a look uh, very, very carefully on the two tactics from each of the fighters. This is the final of the under 66 kilos category in the Dusseldorf uh, Grand Slam 2020. And Mark Velashvili of Georgia here up against Abe Mifuni. Abe going for the Olympic place for Japan, not guaranteed yet. And so this means a lot to him. And you've got opposing styles here. And it's quite interesting that we have uh, the Georgian will be trying to get his big left arm right the way over the top of Abe. Abe will be looking for the Sodi and the Sianagi attacks, but he'll be looking as well to attack off the grip, uh, which is important. Um, the Georgian here, big left hand. Uh, swings right the way over the top um, of Abe and uh, Abe knows that he's got to attack quickly and hard as well in order to prevent that. So uh, we can see there that the uh, the Sodi coming as soon as he's got the sleeve and uh, you can see the strong fight for grips here the uh, Georgian catching the sleeve uh, just before he sends that big arm uh, over the top here and uh, so that's his tactic uh, and when it comes to Abe his job is to attack out of danger. So um, attacking out of danger, of course, better uh, as a defense, better to be uh, offensive as opposed to defensive and uh, better to attack to do that. Mark Velasquez liked to catch the sleeve. He was really, really good at catching the sleeve. And both of them were fighting for the sleeve because um, uh, Abe wanted to go Sodi here across off his sleeve grip. So Magvalishvili would make sure that he caught the sleeve first and then he sends his thundering big arm right the way over the top here. And of course from here he could throw in his direction that way. But what he was trying to do as well, because Abe was looking for the Sianagi all the time and the Sodi, and he did it with this leg going in at the same time. And he was waiting for it because what he wanted was he wanted to catch uh, Abe on the rebound. He wanted to counter him backwards and he was looking for it all the time. And there was one time when Abe came in here and he swept the leg and he took Abe down and he almost scored. It was a miracle that he didn't score. Well, this is a great exchange. And uh, if we just have a look back here, we'll just take this back and have a look at it. Because uh, as I said before, Abe looking to attack off the grip, cross grips here on this particular occasion. But as soon as he cross grips, uh, we can see that the leg as well here uh, and the arm 
here and the arm here all going in at the same time and I think that that's an important point uh, with his strategy but we've already stated that he's got to be careful of the counter and um, again we we'll just play it back let's just have a look at the counter from the Georgian here and uh, Abe his foot here gets slid away and he almost goes onto his back for a score and he manages to come out of it uh, remarkably well uh, I think we're going to have a look in slow motion at it and uh, there it is all the way up and again we'll I think we'll slow down even slower just so that we can have a look here uh, you can see that uh, the Georgian's hand here controlling the hips and uh, of course the the leg here ready for either the Uranagi or the uh, just a straight counter and he does just so well to uh, manage to come up out of there, no score at all. So we know what the Georgian's main point is, to get the arm over the back and uh, big strong grips. Let's just take this back and have a look at how he attacks out of danger here, Abe just catches the sleeve and of course the Georgian just trying to get that arm over the back at all times and Abe decides that he's going to attack out of danger but he's always looking for the Ippon and I think that's one of the main points. Abe knew that Mark Vallesvili was quick onto the arm here. So he catched the sleeve at the same time. But also, of course, what he was looking for here, he was looking for the Sode here in order to take uh, his opponent over because he does a lot of Sode and then readjusts all the time. But he was doing one on attacks immediately. So he was using this Sode here in order to attack out of danger and that was a key point because as soon as he felt that this arm was coming over here he would attack with the Sode and sometimes it was uh, connecting and sometimes it wasn't and you notice that with him and his sister both of them uh, when they come in often here um, they're not completely in and it's the second stab here that actually puts them into the right position. So this was an interesting point, was that as uh, Marvellis Vili took that leg back here and then really threw this arm over the top here, and then what he would do is try and catch the sleeve in order to attack out of danger. Strong fight for grips, both fighters going on to the sleeves. So I think that uh, that is an important point here, that both uh, fighters uh, are trying to tie up the sleeves. And I think that because of this, that Malvelishvili feels the danger and he goes down onto his knee to avoid the throwing action of Abe, but this is the point. The point is, is that he's still looking to throw, so when he comes up out of it, transition standing as well as, uh, as well as Newaza, but uh, he's always looking for the counter, and we can see here that Abe almost gets countered. I'm going the wrong way. So let's have a look how Abe carries on with his 
attacking strategy there. The leg is already in. So we can see the leg in. He's got uh, good grips on the sleeve, but hasn't quite got the angle. So the hips actually of Magvelishvili here already starting to thrust upwards. So he's going in an upwards direction here. And that means then that Abe in danger of being thrown. Here's the slow motion of it. Abe attacks. Magvalishvili gets the lift here. Abe just manages to get the arm down in order to avoid the throw. Let's just play it back just so we can see the landing. Have a look at the arm coming out, elbow out. We know that if the elbow is out, then it's absolutely no score because the side doesn't make contact with the mat. And so it is uh, no score and a great effort for Marg Velashvili. And uh, Abe realizes that he's got to attack 100%. Watch how Marg Velashvili's right hand always comes on first. The right hand always comes on in order to get the pressure or the power in order to send that left arm over the top. And there was what Abe was looking for. So it was a real opportune situation from Abe. He was waiting for that arm to come over. And this is the uh, key point here, is that the readjustment, and actually both the Abe siblings do this particular movement here. Uh, he already has the sleeve. You can see that he's got good control of the sleeve here, Abe. He's actually controlling Marg Velashvili's um, sleeve. And Mark Velashvili is coming over the top with the arm. It's the arm of Abe, though, that goes around the back. Look out for the arm here and how it comes around the back. And at the same time, let's just play it back one more time. At the same time, he's driving off the bat leg. Legs in, arm round the back, dominating the sleeve, and everything is operated simultaneously in order to attack. Abe has the ability to attack off the grip, which means that, of course, he knows that if this is taken, this arm comes over. As soon as it all starts to go into operation, what he does is already moving in to the actual throw here before his opponent can actually settle with a sleeve grip or the arm over the back. So he's doing one complete movement here, so it's catch there and then drive here. And he scores a wazari with the first one. It's a direct catch here and drive. And he drives off that back leg. Look at how he drives off that back leg. So now we can see it in slow motion. Big arm over the back and then that change of direction. And again, let's uh, just have another look at the drive off that bat leg because the drive off the bat leg is what is absolutely amazing about this technique. This drive, this hand here, and the sleeve grip here, everything is working at the same time simultaneously in order to get the drive 
and to get the upon uh, the wasari sorry and now the georgian realizes that he's got to come forwards so the georgian piles the pressure on here immediately he realizes that he's got to come forwards and throws the big bomb which is the arm coming over he already has the sleeve so he catches the sleeve and then he gets the power from the arm here and that arm coming over the top gets all the power because of the connection of the two and of course in order to prevent himself uh, being thrown he, he goes to ground Abbe and uh, takes the Shido he's able to do that but it was an obvious Shido the referee of course awards it but this is what's really uh, great because look at this immediately he just fires back so this time it's Abbe that fires back, catches the sleeve first, then the leg comes in. So this is what he's been looking for all the way through the contest. But this time he changes direction for the Ouchi, and Magvalishvili manages to get out. Second attack there, almost scoring, but not quite. And this is really interesting because, let's have a look at this little exchange here. Now let's just take it back. At this particular stage here, you can see that um, Abe is on his knees. And the transition, the Georgian is able to transition uh, from Newaza upwards, so he's able to attack from this situation here. But, and this is the key point, have a look how quickly Abe comes back onto his feet and then into attacking position. He doesn't give him time, uh, uh, himself uh, time to be attacked, and so he straight away attacks out of danger. Good tactical play there by Abe. Difficult situation because he's in danger as well of being thrown. So yet again, arm round, same tactic. And I've got to say that at this uh, particular uh, point of the contest, Abe is the one that's readjusting all the time. And uh, Mark Vallesvili just coming the same way over all the time. This is the start of where Abe now comes into his own because he makes readjustments here. The leg starts to come in. The arm here is around the back of Mark Velishvili and the hips here are in. So he's trying to find the way in here for Sienagi or for the Sorisura Komigoshi. That's what he's after. And he comes in first and now makes the readjustment. And look at this readjustment here. So he made an absolute readjustment of the hips here. And if we could just play it back, uh, first of all, from the Ouchi, then he readjusts the hips by taking that leg here back. As he takes that leg backwards, the hips here pop all the way through. And Magvalishvili goes right the way over the top for a full hip on. So this is where it starts. Leg in first. Arm 
is round the back at the same time. He's dominating the sleeve. Look at the drive off that back leg, as always. Absolutely amazing. And then he readjusts that back leg. And that readjustment of that back leg there, now look how it swings around. There's the first movement. He's got the line. So this line here is well and truly connected. All the way through the contest, the tactics were who was going to attack first. And Abe's tactics were always to try and catch and to get this leg in. He wanted to find the line for attack. Because remember, what he does off the arms here is the sobe. He also does big massive Marotti Sierlegi as well. But they do an Ogoshi as well. Him and his sister, Uta, they both of them do this massive Ogoshi type movement. And this attack was immediate from here. The leg was in here. But the fantastic thing was that now what he does, once he's found this, is he comes out, readjusts this back leg here, and has his hips right through. And he finishes the technique in style. There's the readjustment there. The back leg goes backwards. The hips go right the way through. And this man here still has a chance of going to the Olympic Games. Hi there, I'm Neil Adams, former world champion and double Olympic medalist. Now you might know me from the World Judo Tour as a commentator and now as an IJF referee supervisor. I'm happy to announce my new partnership with Athlete Analyzer as one of their analysts in the new marketplace where you can find top level coaches there to help you at any level. I'm looking forward to being a part of your coaching team to help you find your technical excellence and to take you to that next level. Hopefully, the suggestions I give you and your techniques, strategies and execution can help you towards Ippon Judo and total success on the mat. So, I hope you select me to be your technical coach and together we can give you the power to be more. Oh, oh, he's done it again! Wow, goodness me, I don't think I've ever seen a technique like it. That's the throw of the tournament.